Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed your two hour delay. And if you had to take I-Step, I'm so sorry. I'm Liz. And I'm Nolan. And for lunch today, we'll be having on lines one, two, and three, chicken noodles. On line four, taco bar and calzone. And on line five, well, it's closed. Celebrating birthdays today are Aleli Alanis, Giselle Gomez, Jade Hardesty, Jasmine Hernandez, and Wendy Salmeron. Now to sports with Nick. Thanks. In girls basketball news, Riley Syrett was named to the first team all-conference, while Emily Michael and Kimmy Kinma were, were named to the second team all-conference. Congratulations, ladies. Official practices for softball will be beginning on Monday, March 4th. Any girl wanting to play softball must be at practices beginning on March 4th. Practices will run from 3.15 to 5.30 on Monday all the way through Friday. Be prepared with clothing for colder outdoor practices and also clothing for indoor if needed. Physicals must be on file with the athletic office prior to that time. There will be a mandatory parent slash player meeting following practice on Monday in the Ox Gym at 5.30. All players must be present for the meeting along with the parent. Last but not least, a good luck goes out to the boys varsity basketball team as they will be competing in their sectional tonight at 6. Make sure to be loud and proud. That's it for sports. Now back over to Liz and Nolan. Thanks, Nate. In other news, a Florida man got arrested for throwing a cookie at his girlfriend. So the moral of the story is, don't go and throw cookies at your girlfriend. And also, don't be a Florida man. Today is also Johnny Cash's birthday. He would have been 87 years old today. So if you're a Johnny Cash fan, make sure to honor him today by listening to all of his greatest hits. Well, that's it for HGTV News today. Uh, we'll see you all tomorrow.